Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live, and we're also <clears throat> running a, it's not actually running live on TikTok, but I'm doing a 60-second recording right now just for a practice run there. So I'll be posting for you the link to be able to get to TikTok uh, Israeli News Live, where you guys can watch things that go on there. I'll be doing a lot of little short clips there just to share things with you as things, as we see things going on in the world. Uh, but right now, the situation in Ukraine is only going to get worse. Tim Anderson, excuse me, not, uh, Tim Anderson loaded a uh, a video here, and I want you to be able to hear this. This is the uh, you uh, Britain <clears throat> saying that they should engage directly in war against Russia. Let's listen in. Ukraine are now at war in Europe. We need to move to a war footing. We are involved in that. We've mobilized our procurement processes. We're gifting equipment. We need to face Russia directly and reckon rather than leaving Ukraine. Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. I'm just, uh, we only had a 30 second clip over there. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that thing posted as, as I continue on with you guys here. Um, <clears throat> But uh, at, at any rate there, and I don't know if it's going to post or not. I have to go back and deal with that a little bit later there. Um, as we go on, as you see there, that was uh, Elwood. Uh, he <clears throat> stating that Britain should go ahead and, and engage in a direct war with Russia. As you know, the United States has sent over uh, some long-range missiles uh, to Kiev. And now Kiev's forces are saying... They will not hold back when it comes to hitting locations inside Russia, according to Fyodor uh, uh, Venslavatsky, who is a member of the Ukrainian Parliament's National Security, Defense, and Intelligence Committee. Uh, he's stating there, even here, Moscow hosts the General Staff Headquarters as well as Russia's National Defense Management Center, which are both in the city center. Uh, Vanosk, uh, Slavosky stressed that he has no issue with Ukraine potentially in attacking any command center in the Russian capital. And those of you that may not know, the Russian capital, as it says in the paragraph above, above is a population of 13 million people. And, uh, <clears throat> and quite frankly, if you think about it, even in Russia's uh, moves against Ukraine, they really did a lot of holding back, even with Kiev. They have held back on a lot of things. Now, Russia now has taken the gloves off, and of course, uh, Crimea uh, also is going to become targets there. <clears throat> goes on to say, Blavansky remarks come a day after the Pentagon announced it was supplying Kiev with ground-launching small diameter bombs, munitions consisting of rocket motor and airplane bomb with a range of up to 150 kilometers or 93 miles. It is a it is unclear if Kiev has obtained any weapons capable of striking Moscow since the capital lies some 500 kilometers or 310 miles away from Russia's nearest border with Ukraine. <clears throat> Washington previously stated that it would not prevent Kiev from using the new weapons to strike targets deep within Russia. Well, <clears throat> again, Kiev does not have, Ukraine does not have the capabilities to do any such attacks. And as we have brought out uh, from our intelligence connections there, all the attacks that have happened inside of Russia have been that at the, at the behest of NATO. <clears throat> NATO, more specifically, the U.S. is the one that has uh, carried out a lot of these attacks there. Uh, Crimea, though, is, of course, is a major issue. And uh, Medvedev, the former uh, prime minister, excuse me, uh, <clears throat> President of Russia, he has warned also, saying that uh, <clears throat> in this in this article here, uh, the interview that RT did with him and uh, uh, with Nadana Frederikson, Medvedev denied that Ukraine strikes against the Crimea Peninsula would force Moscow to sit down at a negotiating table. He says, "quote The result would be exactly the contrary. There would be no talks in such case. There would only be retaliatory strikes." He warned. Uh, uh, Russia could retaliate in any way possible should Ukraine forces strike targets in Crimea or deep inside of Russian territory, the former president warned. We do not set any limits depending on the na nature of threats and are ready to use all types of weapons. He insisted, adding that Russia would only be guided by its own doctrines, including a nuclear protocol. He says, I can assure you a response would be swift, hard, and convincing. 
Medvedev also accused European leaders who have been supporting Kiev through various means, including weapon shipments, of acting at the behest of Washington to, to, <clears throat> to the detriment of their own people. The cost of sanctions, military aid to Ukraine, trade wars, embargoes are borne by ordinary EU citizens, he added. Medvedev remarks came a day after the Pentagon announced it was supplying Kiev with ground-launching small-diameter bombs, munitions consisting of rocket mortars and an airplane bomb, which range of up to 150 kilometers, close to 100 miles, basically, <clears throat> as we already reported just a moment ago there. One thing I want, I want to say to you guys, um, and I have not done the special broadcast, hopefully I'll have it together tonight, of uh, something I released on Patreon, on our Patreon channel, we have released... Uh, an inside uh, story that we just got the other day that happened in Washington, D.C., where a man uh, uh, seemingly to be deranged from uh, across the southern border had escaped a CIA training camp and was uh, running desperately for his life. Uh, and he was claiming that it is kind of like the uh, Manchurian Project there that you see the Manchurian Candidate movie there where they are being, all kinds of drugs are being used. They're basically creating sleeper cells to come later at the year here and attack American citizens. The whole purpose right now is bringing down America. That's one reason why you see in the case of Britain saying that they should enter in the war directly. Uh, Mr. Uh, Elwood right here making that statement there. They want to bring down the United States, the elite already for a new world order. Also, I'd gotten from Israeli intelligence that Israel is cooperating in that initiative, uh, assisting both China and Russia and assisting China in the taking down of Taiwan because they said that's what will cripple our economy. And of course, we've reported that before, that Taiwan, the large uh, economy uh, base that it is for the United States with manufacturing and the goods and the sales of products and things like that, would plummet us into a complete meltdown economically. So these things are nothing new. These things are happening because of that very thing there. Also, the, dry, uh, uh, the balloons that uh, China has been sending over. By the way, friends, that's nothing new. China has always sent over balloons, spy balloons. They're normally very high up in the altitude there. But, of course, with different conditions that have been happening as a result of this uh, binary system and the, uh, the, the, the waves of energy coming from the sun, it has caused this particular balloon to come a little bit lower. Uh, it was shot down. But they bring out here, the Washington Examiner calls it delivery platform for a nuclear EMP attack. Well, sure it could be. Uh, definitely so. There's always that risk. So spy balloons used by Japan to drop bombs during World War II are now far more sophisticated and can fly up to 200,000 feet of aid detection and can carry a small nuclear bomb that could explode in the atmosphere, which shut down the grid and wipe out electronics in many statewide area there. Now, that's one reason why we encourage our, our listeners to invest in the EMP shield. And I know <clears throat> the EMP shield... Uh, is used by many government agencies already. And, of course, if you decide to get one uh, for your own home, your car, your uh, RV, you can get it for your solar panel protection. I mean, there's all kinds of things you could get it for. Uh, you know, they got bundles, everything you can think of. You know, even for your generator. Your generator may need one. It's definitely worth getting. But when you do get one, don't forget, uh, one, it, it, they, they, they contribute to our ministry. We really appreciate that. Uh, it's a way for you to help support the work we do as well as protecting your own self. And of course, EMP Shield, <clears throat> I always like to tell you about it when they're running sales, but when you get a situation like this where they've got a new threat, new possibility, I just want to encourage you, don't even wait. Just go ahead and do it. Use the coupon code INL50 right there. They will automatically, when you apply it, it's going to knock $50 off of your order. And that doesn't matter if you buy one or if you buy 10. If you bought 10, you're going to save $500 because you're going to knock $50 off of every single thing. I don't think anybody want to go buy 10, but there you go right there, 339 from 389 So I just want to remind you about that. We want to thank you for your support of this broadcast. Don't forget to go to Patreon. Look in the description of the video here. We have our, because uh, we just started up with, with TikTok. I did a little while back. I just haven't really used it at that much very much yet. But now we are also on Telegram. And on our Telegram channel, we're almost at 1,000 people already, 816 right now. 
uh, people there. I like the Telegram app because I haven't learned how to use it yet. I want it to get it to where you guys can actually comment and things like that. Share your thoughts and views with us there because we really appreciate that. Um, but uh, we're, we're, we're learning how to use that. So we've been sharing some videos there. Even occasionally I drop a, a Patreon video in that particular channel there for people to get to see as well. Uh, so don't forget to check us out over there. And as well, Stephen Benoon at, uh, on YouTube. <clears throat> that is, uh, that's my private channel there. And, uh, but the advantage of Stephen Benoon, <clears throat> hang on one second, let me just get you to it, is um, when you go to Stephen Benoon YouTube, this is where, this is normally the, the, uh, the platform that I use to be able to, uh, to load up uh, our Patreon videos there. So besides that, uh, we make them public every so often. Not everything goes public from Patreon, but uh, I would say probably 65%, 70% we do. And when we upload those there, you're able to go and enjoy that as well. So, uh, you know, Patreon is really just a platform for, for people that like to support us. And it's a very low cost, low way to do that. And, uh, and, and it just, it helps. It's what helps pay the bills. And we really appreciate that and thank you for it. So anyway, God bless you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget your EMP shield. Save your 50 bucks, INL 50 there. Serious things are happening around the world. We are and they are intent on trying to bring this nation down by the end of the year. And I need to do an update. I'll probably do it over on Patreon anyway about the binary system. I'm going to be addressing some of the things I heard Mike from around the world say over in Paul's program again. Uh, again, some filling in some blanks there that I know that he's maybe not at liberty to say, I do know about those things. Uh, he's saying a lot of things that I've told you guys uh, a year and a half, two years ago, uh, he's just now bringing out. So I'm going to update you, bring you back and remind you of some of those things. So anyway, thank you for listening. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live and God bless you.